Welcome to the weather broadcast for today, Friday, the 4th of October, 2024. From our studios in Jimit, I'm your presenter, Marsha Alexander. Two systems to look at in the Atlantic here. We are looking at Major Hurricane Cook and also Tropical Storm Leslie out in the Central Atlantic. And just to tell you that none of these systems pose any threat to the region at this time. Major Hurricane Cook continues to move over the open waters of the Atlantic Ocean away from land and expected to be downgraded. Now also, Tropical Storm Leslie expected to become a hurricane as it continues to move over the open waters of the Atlantic Ocean away from the region here. Now, over the next seven days, by Monday or Tuesday, a vigorous tropical wave is expected to come off the coast of Africa here. So we will be monitoring this one as well. So we should be following the progress of this system sometime early next week. Now, taking a look at satellite imagery, here we can see the movement of Major Hurricane Cook as it continues over the open waters of the Atlantic Ocean, well-defined system. And here we can see Tropical Storm Leslie as it continues in, on its path as well over the open waters of the Atlantic Ocean. We can expect to see some swells which could be generated by Major Hurricane Cook as it moves over water. Now, taking a closer look, here we can see some localized blobs of clouds across Dominica, mainly during the afternoon. And some patches of low-level clouds can be seen off to the east of Dominica. Now, taking a look at the moisture, here we can see the area of moisture associated with Major Hurricane Cook as it continues on its path. And here we can see the moisture associated with Tropical Storm Leslie here as well. Now, for the Saharan dust or dry air, you can see some Saharan dust in between the region and Major Hurricane Cook. And there is some interaction of that Saharan dust with Hurricane Cook as well as here interaction with Tropical Storm Leslie. Now, taking a look at radar imagery and what it indicated. Some localized blow up of convection or showers across Dominica during the during mid-afternoon period or around 12 p.m. and this quickly dissipated by around 3 p.m. today. Taking a closer look, we can see the blob of showers and thunderstorm activity which occurred mainly across the southern portion of Dominica during the midday period, which is around 12 p.m. and quickly dissipated by around 3 p.m. today. However, the cloudiness still lingered across Dominica. Now, tonight's weather is expected to be partly cloudy to occasionally cloudy with a few scattered showers and a slight chance of isolated thunderstorms. And tomorrow's weather is expected to be fair at first, becoming partly cloudy to cloudy with some scattered showers and a chance of isolated thunderstorms by afternoon. Sea conditions expected to be slight to moderate with waves picking up to 2 meters or up to 7 feet. High tide will be at 4.17 a.m. and 3.57 p.m. and low tide will be at 9.57 a.m. and 10.41 p.m. Again tomorrow Saturday, conditions expected to be fair at first, becoming partly cloudy to cloudy with scattered showers and a chance of isolated thunderstorms. And as we move into Sunday and Monday, conditions expected to be partly cloudy to cloudy with some scattered showers and a chance of isolated thunderstorms due to the approach of a trough which is associated with the presence of Hurricane Cook. Some high temperatures can be expected throughout the next three days. Therefore, you are advising residents to stay cool and hydrated during the next three days. Sunrise tomorrow will be at 5.55 a.m. and sunset will be at 5.52 p.m. Please remember that we are still in the hurricane season. Stay informed and be prepared. See you again on Monday for another weather broadcast. Stay safe.